Perek Dinim Amonis Bishloisha Daf Tezayin, sponsored the Rufu Shlema for Daniel Tzvi Ben Yocheve. The Gemara explains the Mishnah statement a tribe is judged by the Great Sanhedrin in three ways. Number one, Rav Masna explains it refers to its prince who committed a capital crime. Yisro advised Moshe Rabbeinu, Kol Adavar Godo Yaviu Elecha, meaning cases concerning great personalities such as a prince of a tribe should be brought to you. The great Sanhedrin assumed the judicial role of Moshe Rabbeinu. Number two, Ula suggests it refers to a dispute over tribal territory. The Gemara rejects this answer because the original dis- distribution included a lot box, the Urim Vitumim, and the presence of the nation not mentioned in the Mishnah. Number three, Ravina explains it refers to an idolatrous tribe. Initially, the Gemara rejected a comparison to a near a subversive city, because it can include, at most, the majority. The whole tribe is judged as an individual. Ravina explains this refers only to their punishment for idolatry. As a subversive city, the peoples are beheaded. As individuals, they are stoned. However, its court consists of 71 judges. The proof. The verse states, Only individual idol worshippers, not a tribe, are taken to the gates of the city a reference to the local court of 23. The Gemara brings a source that teaches a Navi Sheker, a false prophet, is judged by the great Sanhedrin. Reish Lakish learns it from a Gzera Shav, a comparison to a Zakein Mamre, a rebellious sage. There it states, Basisa al Piyadavara an individual sage must obey a ruling of the great Sanhedrin. Concerning a false prophet, it states, Acha Navi Asheyazid Ledaver Davar Bishmi, the similar terms davar used in both contexts teaches just as a sage who defies the decision of the great Sanhedrin is executed, the same court judges a false prophet. There is another similar term used in both contexts, hazada hazada, an, in, an intentional willful violation that Rishalakish could have derived a rebellious sage is judged by the great Sanhedrin as well. However, he did not receive a handed down tradition from his teachers to compare them. The Gemara brings a source that teaches a Kohen Gadol, the high priest, is judged by the great Sanhedrin. Ravada derives it from Kol Adavar HaGadol Yaviu Eilecha, not referring to a difficult case, but to a case involving a great personality. He follows the opinion in Abraisa because one verse states, Kol Adavar HaGadol Yaviu Eilecha, and the other verse states, Es Adavar HaKashe Yaviu El Moshe. One refers to a difficult matter, the other to a great personality. Another Bryce explains both refer to a difficult matter, one referring to Yisro's advice and the other to its f- fulfillment. However, Ravada derives both teachings because of the change in terminology, Koshe Vigadol. The Gemara questions how many judges are required to judge the Kohen Gadol's ox. We already learned Gambal of Yumas teaches just as the owner for committing murder is judged by a court of 23, refers to an individual owner, requiring 71, or perhaps to the judgment of a regular owner requiring 23. So in this case over here, the question is, the ox of the Kohen Gadol, <clears throat> does it require 71 judges or 23 judges to be tried? Abai deduces from the question that his money matters are judged by three. Perhaps Kol HaDavar Gadol means any case related to a great personality must be judged by 71. Therefore, the Chiddush is that in the case of money matters, it's only judged by three. <clears throat> the Gemara brings the source teaching the nation cannot enter a discretionary war without the consent of the great Sanhedrin. David HaMelech advised the Chachamim to destroy Amalek who were ransacking Jewish cities, ruining the economy. Immediately after the verse states, they would request a battle strategy from Achitofel and then permission from the head of the Sanhedrin. The Gemara brings the source teaching to enlarge Yerushalayim in the temple courtyards requires the great Sanhedrin. A verse concerning the Mishkan states, Just as the blueprint of the Mishkan was designed by Moshe, future temple parameters would be determined by the great Sanhedrin. However, other forms of sanctification, such as anointing holy, holy vessels, were not perform, performed in the future. The verse states, Those are the Mishkan. A reference to the future indicates future vessels become sanctified by their use. 
The word osam limits it only to use and not a combination of anointing and usage. The Mishnah states smaller courts are appointed by the great Sanhedrin just as Moshe appointed them. The Gemara explains the laws derived from the verse Shoftim Vishotim Titan Vicha Bechol Shorecha. Number one, Shoftim Vishotim Titan, the great Sanhedrin should appoint judges and policemen. Number two, Bechol Shorecha in every town. Three, Lishvatecha of all the tribes. This includes either tribal court, a tribal court overseeing the court of their towns, or for a town overlapping two tribes. Number four, Rabbi Shem Gamliel, Merlo Shavtech, Veshavtu derives from the possessive, each tribe should judge for themselves. Rabbi Chir Bar Yosef derives from a verse that only the great Sanhedrin can declare an ir adidachas a subverted city. A verse states, Rotzei says, Isha hu as oas ha'isha hiel shorecha, individuals are judged by local courts of 23, not cities. Border city cannot be declared in Yerad Yidachas, a subverted city, and not on the border, only two. The verse states, Mikir Becha from your midst, not a border town. The verse states, Kisishma Bachas Orecha, the word Orecha is two, and Achas limits it to no more than two. Rav was in doubt whether the limitation of two referred only to the same body of sages, a different body can punish more cities, or two was a limit because the destruction of too many cities would endanger our survival. Reish Lakish held this to be true in an individual province, Yehuda Gala Vever Ayardeng, but in, more, in another province, not. Rav Yochanan held even from one province to another, there can only be two. If you're enjoying Daphne 5, please click on the link below, subscribe, and become a sponsor. Thank you.